I'm a 44 years old guy uh, who started coaching with 17, so if you do the math, uh, it's been a long journey until uh, I arrived here in South Africa, so even though I'm not uh, you know, very well known here in South Africa, which is normal, I have a decent background as a head coach, also as an assistant coach, uh, in different clubs in Spain and also the last uh, seven and a half years in Finland uh, in a not really no no league but a very complex league at the same time uh, so I guess that that's why I'm here uh, with you because of my background and because of the results that I got uh, I'm a very very commit coach when I say commit, uh, it's commit with my uh, with my job, uh, with uh, the responsibility that I have as a as a as a coach. Uh, commit with my coaching staff, with the people who's working with me, and also commit with the clubs that I represent. In this case, a huge club, a huge brand like Pirates. Understanding that, uh, yeah, we are fighting for a really nice target. So it's about the league. Uh, of course, Pirates is uh, one of the clubs that even as a European, uh, you know, uh, it's a very charismatic uh, club, let me say. Those clubs that, you know, even though if you are not fine, for some reason you like. Um, I have the chance to work with uh, many, many different African players, especially in my period in Finland. And uh, so I know about the league and about the strengths of the league and how good it is and also for the players because uh, the, the feedback that I got from them was always very positive. Nigerian players, uh, uh, players from Ghana, uh, from many different countries. So that's what I know uh, or what I knew because I've been here now for one month and I can tell you that uh, I, there, there was not much to do for me during this month and my coaching staff than know the, the league as good as possible and try to to be prepared for what's coming. And the day you were announced, what do you make of the reaction, the reception? Your name was all over the internet. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm a person who is not really concerned about those those things I try to just be concentrate in what I want to do with my teams uh, my methods to train and uh, of course I know the responsibility that I have I will always understand what the people think about me or, or, or don't uh, so respecting every opinion so like I said before football will say what we do on the field will speak for me so uh, I hope that that soon they will understand that that uh, they can be proud of their coaching staff and their players. Um, do you understand the pressures that come with coaching a team like the Pirates that, for all the intents and purposes, has underachieved over the past 10 years, 10, 12 years? Uh, we always mention pressure like something negative, and I think it's positive. If someone is pushing you in your in your office and is you know, ready to take your job, probably you will do the things much better even as a journalist. So that's the same as a football player or as a football coach. We know that the results are very important when you are representing a brand like uh, Pirates, it's even more. So that pressure will make us, you know, be aware every day and not relax, not even feeling relaxed when we get two, three, four results uh, good in a row. So I think uh, pressure is something positive when we speak about sport, when we speak about athletes, and that's something that is going to push us to, to our best person. And coach, uh, based on your experience uh, so far at Pirates, how would you describe South African players? And are you happy with what you have uh, in terms of the squad? High level in the technical department. The technical level of, level of the players is uh, so high, like I said, uh, in many different places. Uh, so that makes uh, possible for us as a coaches to build a team who can do what we expect that they are going to do. Uh, that's my impression so far of the South African football. How has it been to, uh, working with uh, Coach Lanz and the guys? Uh, really good. Uh, he's a, a very humble guy with a lot of experience in the country and I'm, 
I'm uh, smart enough to understand that he's going to be a huge contribution for us in order to accelerate the process, in order to help us to understand the culture, the players, coaches, referees, everything, you know, around the, around the game. So I really appreciate what Mandela is doing for us and uh, he's going to be an important part of the staff. Have you seen the team? Coach, Sorry? Have you seen the team? Have you been with the team for weeks now? Mm -hmm. um, are you beginning to see how you're going to have your starting lineup? Yes, of course. We, we go in day by day, uh, but at the same time we know that the first fixer is coming and uh, you can be sure we're going to be prepared. Uh, and Tabang Monare, it has been said. You are, uh, <laughs> coming close and close and yeah, close. Yeah, you were uh, very influential in staying in the team. Uh, what did you see in him? Why did you hope to keep him? Same like the other other players in the in the in the squad. I don't like to individualize uh, when I speak about the team. This is a collective sport. Tabang, uh, he has the same same. Uh, uh, have conditions, criteria that the other ones in the squad, in terms of uh, ambition, in terms of uh, quality, and in terms of understanding what we are looking for there. So he fits very well in our in our proposal. And coach, how would you describe your playing philosophy? Uh, we trying to entertain the people. That's the meaning of our job. Don't get wrong. That's what we do. Entertain people. Try to invite the people to come to the stadium and enjoy the game with us. And uh, our target is manage and play good enough that the, the people wants to play the games with us. Not only there, be there, you know, on the chair just watching and observing, also playing the game with us. That's the most beautiful thing in football. And uh, we, to do that, we have to be proactive. We have to propose uh, an attractive football, full of uh, chances and you know, as spectacular as possible, let me say. But sometimes it's possible, sometimes not, but that's the aim of our, our proposal.